Milton Hammy good. Back, your boy Moko. I know it's been taking me, don't mind the noise, it's just highway right now. It's been taking me kind of long to like make this video to show you guys how I do my stuff. Yeah, honestly, I apologize for that. That's my bad. Uh, hey man, I'm waiting for the bus now. So figured, might, might as well give you that little bit of knowledge that I have, or whatever you may call it. But yeah, okay, so, steps to stream and make your own content on YouTube and Twitch. It's not a lot of steps. First step is confidence. You need to be fully comfortable in your own skin. You need to be fully comfortable being yourself. Now, you can put on a persona, you know? It's not like split persona, like what I have. Literally, characters, I can literally do whatever the fuck I want. That's characters. But, hey, you can still do that. You know, being you, but not being you. But, you know, there are implications. Shit that can bounce off. There's a possible problems. Meaning that, you know, like if, if you're not yourself, and you can carry on this fake persona of being something else. It could uh, ev eventually hurt you in the long run. It's two different ways. People can figure out that it's not really you and they don't fuck with it anymore. Or you just don't like doing that anymore and then you fall off. One of the two will happen. Or the possible third option where people call you out for being fake and then yeah, everything is in fake ten, I should say. You know, I'm not even gonna say step two, I'm just gonna say another step. Step. Even though I just said step two, I guess you'll clarify the step two now because I said step two. Anyways, another step. Now, you don't need to have all that fancy stuff, you know what I mean? Like you don't need to um, have all the uh, fancy equipment, you know, you don't have to start off popping. You know, like when I started off, I was lucky enough to buy a DSLR camera like two years before, like a year and a half before, I just didn't use it that much. Uh, I would literally record my screen, my <coughs> excuse me, uh, yeah, it sounded kind of weird, didn't I? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have the, the knowledge of knowing uh, different uh, ways to record your screen, so like, I, I basically just set my camera up in front of my TV and record my gameplay. Now, I, I know it's kind of, I know it's kind of crusty, it's kind of ghetto, but if I didn't do that, you know, I wouldn't have like two, three hundred subs. And after that, I decided on learning more. So you should learn before you actually put these things to action, but don't look for those friggin', uh, those friggin', uh, lessons that say, oh, this is gonna happen for you right away. If you do X, Y, and Z, no. You, you have to at least, you know, you, when you learn something, try it out. Like, it's not gonna be like the be all, end all, like, you're, you're gonna make it after that, no. Like, you have to go through trial and error and shit. You know what I mean? No, I'm at. Okay. Okay, uh, you can, okay, for all my Xbox users out there, you can download Twitch onto your Xbox. I'm pretty sure you can do it on PS4 too, but maybe they don't have that kind of contract with Twitch. I don't know, I don't have a PS4. Anyways, download Twitch on your Xbox, and after you set up your Twitch, there's an option on Twitch that allows you to save your, your past broadcast. And I believe it saves it up for like 14 days. It's different when you become a, a partner. I'm an affiliate, I'm not a partner yet. But yeah, you can literally record your gameplay, and while, and while you're streaming live, you can have your camera, whether it be your phone, or DSLR camera, or even an old crappy camera, you know? Know what I mean? You can literally record yourself while you're recording the gameplay on the Xbox or any system that you have. And then in your editing process, you can link the two together. You just have to remember where uh, they match up together. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. You could also like record with a webcam with your Xbox, but if your internet, hold on one sec, I'm looking at a very nice vibe, uh, what, what, Corvette. It's a very nice Corvette. If your internet connection isn't that great, it doesn't matter if you have a webcam hooked up to your Xbox or your PS4 or your camera. It's not gonna, it's not gonna record properly. It's gonna be very laggy. And then um, you like, it's it's basically wasted footage. It's wasted footage. So if your internet connection isn't that great, what I said probably too is a great option. You just have to uh, keep recording until you get that one game. And then unfortunately, you're gonna have to stop. If you don't stop, then I hope that you have really good memory. Because if you don't have really good memory, then you uh, you'll uh, you won't be able to match up the video with the, the video of your face with the video of the gameplay properly. And there are many uh, softwares that you can use on Apple. You can use iMovie, that's free. You, you can download Sony Vegas. You can could, you could download Sony Vegas for uh, PC. That's kind of, um, you could, I, I don't know how much it is because I've never paid for it. I, I basically pirated it. I don't have it anymore because I have Mac and I, iMovie's free. But yeah, that, that's just an option. You can pirate stuff, but you could get in trouble. So I would recommend trying to buy something or trying to at least get something that's free. Now, to make thumbnails for your YouTube thumbnails, there, there's this app that, that I use, it's called PicMonkey. It's a picture of a of a monkey. It's a, it's a, it's, like, it's like a white background with like a, a outlined monkey. It's called Pick Monkey. P I C M O K M O N K E Y. And there's another one called Cut Me In. I'm gonna go back to Pick Monkey after I explain this one. Cut Me In uh, is an app that allows you to let's say uh, I have a picture of myself and a friend, but I want to take my friend out of the picture and put my friend in another picture with me and a group of other friends for a thumbnail. Pick, uh, Cut Me In allows you to do that. The app is picture of a Caucasian woman. She has a brunette and there's like a purple background behind her. And like that allows you to literally cut anything you want out of any picture. And uh, follow, and 
you use PicMonkey to follow up with that. So after you take your friend out of that picture, you save that to your uh, photos in whatever phone you have. Pick, uh, both these apps are compatible with both uh, both different phones, Android and, and iPhone. After that, you open you open up PicMonkey. I'll, I'll, I'll do a better I'll, I'll do a better in depth uh, description of PicMonkey for a different video. I don't want to dive that that much into it right now because I'm outside. I'm kind of hot and I've been holding up my phone with my right hand for about right arm for about seven minutes now. And I feel like I should switch to my, you know, I'm, I'm gonna switch to my left. It's gonna work out a couple kind of is if you actually think about it. But anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done for like the basics. And bo both those apps are free. Like PicMonkey, you can you can pay monthly description, but I never have. You don't need to. They have all like, they have fancier stuff if you pay, if you pay. But that doesn't mean that you'll have fancy ass shit when you do pay for that. Because I learned that the easy way by just going through it the hard way, if that makes any sense. It, 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 does sound, it does kind of sound contradicting. But I found out the easy way by going through it the hard way, which was learning on my own how to make better looking thumbnails. And I learned that from uh, YouTubers and people on Twitch. So like you literally don't need to pay for it. All you gotta do is just uh, go, through the, go through the hard work of learning how to make better thumbnails. I'll, go th I'll, I'll, I'll make a better like in-depth uh, video with that on my phone. It's actually really easy. It's actually really easy. You have to be really simple. You don't, you don't need a whole bunch of shit in your fucking thumbnail. You don't need a whole bunch of shit in there. It just needs to be simple, and you need to be able, if, if you're putting yourself in the picture, stand out, you know, put that little highlight, the white highlight that you normally see around people on thumbnails and shit. You can blur your background if you want. Uh, I don't know how to do it in PicMonkey, so I, li I literally look, I literally just look for free photos on the internet that are blurred out. Like for instance, my Overwatch gameplay. Uh, I look for a blurred out Overwatch backgrounds. For other stuff, uh, I basically just look for any any blurred background. But yeah, uh, what else? Uh, what else am I getting into? Some people have asked me about this, and no, I don't have a girlfriend, and I don't plan on having a girlfriend anytime soon. Cause man, you know, your boy's out here trying to grind. You know, I've been through a relationship. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll dive into that stuff for you guys if you guys want. Like, that that's that that's a very like tricky, touch. it's a touchy subject. You gotta know what you want out there, man. How, how, how long has this been going for? It's going, it's going for like 10 minutes now. I don't know what else to put in this. I might, I, I might just turn this into a vlog now. Vlog, aka slash inform, informative video? Maybe? I don't know. Thank you.